Hey you guys, it's Rachel here with Life of Senza. And there's a hummingbird in my tree. I wonder if you can see him. Oh, he just went. He just took off. I don't know if you got to see him. That was so cool. He was actually perching in here. Um, how unique. Okay. Anyway, I am headed to um, shut this gate because <clears throat> because um, I need to do a dog video. I want to try to do a pack video for for my other channel. And we'll see if I can do that. Preacher, quiet down. Um, really need to um, introduce this new dog that I got that I mentioned on my Patreon. I was like hearing some, sound like a bird or something, crying or something. Anyway. Um, so anyway, so yeah, so I don't know, I keep, I keep hearing it. That's such a, it sounds like a baby almost. Um, but yeah, I'm going to shut this gate so we can do a video. Mm. But yeah, I need to talk about, I need to talk about, uh, what happened this morning, you guys. So as many of you know, I've been going through a lot with the, um, <clears throat> with the county and, um, just, just things, you know what I mean, going on. And so, um, anyway, I had this moment where pre what on God's green earth was that? Um, so anyway, so I've been preacher, can you stop it and quiet down? Hold on. Let's get this other side real quick. Uh -uh. There we go. All right. So anyway, so I've been going through a lot. And my faith was really being tested. Preacher, quiet down. And, um, and then I found it again <laughs> um, through prayer and, um, and just mm, watching a couple sermons on, on faith. Yeah. Right here. Yeah. What? Yeah, I saw it. It died. Yeah, we've had the most die off that I've ever seen in chicks lately. Um, from this, um, we oh, puppies. Oh, so, um, anyway, so yeah, we just, we bought some chicks and we've had a lot of die off. Preacher, no, cut it out. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It is what it is. Preacher, quiet. Dude, he's being a whole hot jerk right now. So... All right. So anyway, so here I want to talk. I want I want you to be on video for this because I I'm talking about what was going on. So we had gone through all this stuff, and um, and like I said, I found my faith, and I was talking about it. Right? I had I had I had I had been going through um, this one this one uh, pastor said he go. It's called a season of silence. So I was going through my season of silence where you're going through something and you just, it's like, it's like, <clears throat> it seems like everything's horrible and you're praying and you're doing all the right things and nothing's happening and nothing's changing. And it makes you think that like, it's not going to work out. It makes you think that, that, that you're gonna, you know, that things are going to be bad or whatever. You know what I mean? It's scary. And, um, and anyway, and so I was able to get through that, and um, then I then things came to pass, which I'm not in, at liberty to talk about right now. But basically, that it became very clear now that I have a path forward, and um, 
and it's kind of like, um, it's not what I imagined. It's not what I thought. Um, it's, and, and honestly, if you would have told me, you know, six months ago, I would have um, been very sad and depressed, but the reality is that, um, now I have the ability to, um, to really see clearly and, and to be open to, um, thank you, um, to be, and I, <clears throat> anyway, I, um, I don't know. I just came to some realizations and things became clear and they got better. Okay, what? Okay, focus is on. But did it really though? And basically, so this happened and then I'm like relieved of this um, pressure, this stress, right? Which is honest to God, like um, from the way that I had been feeling to be able to not feel that anymore was a, was has been a very profound thing, right? It's very freeing. And it's almost like being over the issue without really even being over it, which is odd, but that's exactly how I would describe it. And, um, and I guess, um, coming to that realization, Savannah, come here and tell them what you saw this morning. Sorry, I was lost in thought for a moment there. I blew it out. Oh, you blew it out? Yeah. Uh, then we have our pasture back there. I was looking through the glass door, making sure Preacher wasn't doing anything he wasn't supposed to do. And there was a white, no, there was like an albino white-tailed deer back there. Just standing there. Just chilling out, bro. Yeah. And then I took photos of him, and then I took a video of him. I'm going to put those photos right here. Don't <laughs> So, yeah, it's pretty cool. And I just, um, I don't know. I saw it as a sign. I choose to see it as a sign. I've never seen a white deer before. An albino deer. An albino deer. deer. See, they're rarer than seeing an all-black deer. Really? Yeah, because those happen too whenever you get more melanin mm -hmm. than an albino deer. Mm -hmm. It's like a one, it said something like one in 51,000 deer. Wow. So, yeah. yeah. And so, yeah, so it just, for me, I just was like, you know what? Like, that was just, Savannah came in, she was talking about it. And I was like, um. Do Native Americans look at them as like higher, not higher beings, but like an all-knowing being kind of thing? I don't know, like a, not like a god, I don't know. You know, it's hard to talk about, like, what exactly they were talking But they looked as go get good omens. Mm -hmm. I was talking about it at school, and the guys were like, yo, tell me where you live, I'm gonna come shoot it. And I was like, y'all guys are gonna have a bad omen. So they're gonna like this bad omen. Bad luck. Yeah. yeah. Even Aaron, I told so I told Reese, and she told her husband, her husband, because he's a hunter, and he was like, um, he's like, oh wow, he's really excited and said how special it was, and he said that um, he said that we should feed her so that she doesn't like have to leave, so that nobody shoots her. He said because when people shoot them, they do like full mounts on them. Like oh, people, really? yeah, like people oh, totally, like their whole body yeah, like they, that. they're very highly prized. And he said that she was especially white. Yeah, she, like, was, she was like full white. Cause you can get them like partially white. Like yes. Cows, like yeah. White. Yeah. He, yeah. He said, he said that was even more rare. He said she literally looked like she had just come from the groomer. <laughs> it was really funny. But, um, but anyway, it just. Like <clears throat> ghost deer. You got like a ghost deer out there. Yeah. Right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I don't know, man. It just, for me, it was just a very, it, for me, I chose to see it as a sign. And that's just the way I see it. And I will say also, I also saw whenever I was driving. Blondie, quiet down. <clears throat> whenever I was driving to, um, um, I think when we were driving to D.C., it was storming. Wasn't it raining? And I saw the most beautiful, vibrant, huge rainbow I've ever seen. <clears throat> it was really wild, man. I I don't know why that the that 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 uh rainbow would be bigger here 
than it would be in Texas. But, um, but I don't know, but it was, it was just, it was very beautiful, very vibrant. And, um, Mona, quiet, you cut that out. And, um, anyway, so, <clears throat> um, I don't know. I just, now that I've seen that and then with that, with the, albino with deer. the albino deer. She even had red eyes. I could tell by like how, you know how those cameras can zoom in really well? Mm -hmm. Um, you could see that they're like slightly like reddening of her eyes. Mm. It's really interesting. But yeah, they do reproduce. <gasps> oh, there's that, that hummingbird is back in there. In where? It's in that bush, that azalea bush. The what? Oh, the azalea bush. Is it really? All right, let's see here. Let's get in there quick. Oh, I see it. Whoa. It's gone. What? It left. It, left? it just left. I saw it. No. Yeah, I just saw it. It left. What? Yeah, it just left. How do you know? I just watched it leave. You need to put a, a feeder out here. You lame. Put, you put a sugar water feeder out here. That's run. so lame. Just go to Home Depot real quick, get a um, sugar water feeder, and they'll come to it. I don't think you're supposed to do that. You are. I think, no, I think they said that if you, you like, it's not good nutrition. You just yeah, sugar they like water. It. They like it. Though. So? They, you put like floral, it's like floral sugar water in there. Like, like I wouldn't want to do it unless it has, like, floral. like, like as if it's genuine food. You know what I mean? I want it to have all of the vitamins and electrolytes and any whatever it is that they would normally get is what I want it to have. Hello. Hello. She's just silly. Yep. Hey, Probably like it outside today. Oh yeah, she loves it. I gotta get her some more toys. She already ate one of her toys up that she likes to hang on in there. So I gotta get her a new one. Okay. I've never seen like honestly if you can have an outside aviary for your per for your parrot I highly recommend it. I like. I cannot tell you how much it has changed my bird. You guys, we saw a peaceful snake yesterday too. I don't know if that counts as like an animal. That's Paris has Paris has always been sweet, but Frankie not so much. Yeah, she's but a little just like she's just kind of he just yeah he's a little um, dude. What is it with we? I just hey Mona, you need to cut it out. Oh my god. Hello. Oh, who does that? What? Oh, Frankie. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. His, pe his eyes pin. He's like, hello. And the voice changes too. And it's like, hello. <laughs> it's kind of freaky. It is kind of. Hello. Yeah, hello. <laughs> mm hmm. Yep. <laughs> Hello? Yeah, no, it's a, it's a clear sign that we are very lucky that dinosaurs do not exist now because dinosaurs would be savages. <laughs> what? Dude, I've tried to put her in and every, let me see. Now that you're here, maybe I can do it because every time, no, no, nope. Every time that I try, every time that I try, let's get her in. Go, no, no chicken, go. No. <laughs> nope. <laughs> it's not gonna happen. Oh gosh. See, but you gotta be able to open it. She wants to go in there. I know she does, but she won't let us put her in there. Every time I get close enough to open the door, she runs off. Did you put that seat block in there? Yeah, put it in there. It's it's a um it's for yeah it's like seeds for them. Hey, girlies. I just don't want them out because of that hawk. We have a hawk that we have a red-tailed hawk that lives in here, and it just lives right here. And I just can't have my chickens out if it's going to be trying to eat my um, chickens like that. I have very few now. My my numbers have gone down tremendously. What? I started off. With 15 of these black chickens in here, these black Brahmas, and I only have three left. And only one hen, mind oh, you. Hold on. It didn't work. Bro. Oh. Oh, Blondie. <laughs> That's rude, Blondie. Oh, man, what are you spitting on me, bro? <gasps> Ew. Chick, 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 chick. Sorry, ladies. I love you too much to let you out. Bye, guys. I'll have to think of something. Oh, Lord Jesus. Poor chicken. It's all right, baby girl. You're mean. 
Just wait till it's dark. I don't know where she goes whenever it's dark. Yeah, no, me neither. Yeah. There's some in your hair. What? In my hair? Hmm. Blondie, be quiet. Cut it out. My hair's getting long. I'm so happy. My hair. It's getting long. Hmm. My friends always make fun of how layered it is in the back. But it's okay. Yep. It's growing. Well, anyway, well, I'm going to let y'all go. We're going to try to get a pack video in real quick or something. So, I'll talk to y'all later. Bye.